Murray has been granted Control Server, which allows him to do anything. Murray has also been granted Alter Any Database. Sarah has the Control Server permission granted, so effectively she can do just as much as Murray. What would happen if we were to write this code? Deny. Alter Any Database to Sarah. And we'll go ahead and run that. So let's test out Sarah. Let's expand databases. We can expand JPro code just fine. Let's open a new query window and type alter database JPro co add file group. It says the user doesn't have that permission. Well, let's see if Murray does. Let's open up SQL Server Management Studio. Go in as Murray. Let's open a new query window. It says commands completed successfully. Well, we started off before doing that last command with Murray having two granted permissions and Sarah having just the one granted permission. Then we ran this statement. How did this change things? Sarah has one granted permission and one denied. Now control server says it's okay for her to do anything, including alter a database. But the deny alter any database says no. And she can do anything on that server except for alter any database. Revoke alter any database to Murray. Let's run that. Commands completed successfully. So this is how permissions stand now. What would happen to Sarah if we took away her deny on the alter any database permission? So if we took this statement and type revoke and run it. Let's open a new query window, type create database DB Sarah and go. And her permissions are back. So this is the end result. After you've revoked Sarah's deny permission, it no longer exists. She was left with just control. She and Murray both have the same effective permissions and they can do whatever they want on the server.